how did you get on with your counting? Did you look for the shapes? And did you see with your eyes, did you see any, any objects that were put like a square or like a triangle? Did you, did you try and count them? Did you then have to check, put them in a line so you could check how many there were? Use your finger and use your counting tips. Well, today we're going to learn about something new called Numicon. And it's, it's going to help us to count. And Numicon are, sh are shapes and they have holes in them to help you count. And they're different colours. And I'm going to show them to you. So I'm going to come off the camera and I'm going to show them to you now. Are you ready? Ready. Here they are. I wonder what colours can you see? Can you see orange? Can you see red? I wonder if you can see any shapes, a bit like we were talking about how we, how we might look at something and count it straight away, knowing what shape it is. I can turn them. Now, you may already see, but I'm going to help you. So, what one do you think this is? That's right, it's got one hole. It's orange, it's number one. Can you see number two? Well done. This one's got two holes. Can you see anything else about it? Yes, it looks a bit like a rectangle, doesn't it? I'm going to put that over there. I wonder if you can see number three. Can you see one that looks like a square? Can you see one that looks like a triangle? Let's have a look. Shall we count? Now this is a bit tricky because we can't put this one, we can't move this around. So we have to look for the patterns. But can you see a little bit like a triangle here? Yes. And how many holes? One, two, three. That is the three. We've got two left. I wonder if you know which one the four is. Got one. This one's one, two. That's number two. And this one is the three. One, two, three. That's right, this one is like a square, isn't it? It's got four sides the same, the same length. And it's got four holes. One, two, three, four. Two and two. Four. Now there's one left. I wonder if you know what number it is. If I put it here, it might help you. Can you see how it's different to the four? This one, let's start at the bottom. Or perhaps you might like to start turn it this way. Count it like this. What can you see now across the top and the bottom? Can you see the square still? But what's the square got on top of it? That's right, it's got one on top. One, two. Oh, it's tricky to count this one. Let's start from the bottom and work up. One, two, three, four, five. That's a five. 